Well, today the rain impacted the slate of performances at the second and final day of this year's Dayton Air Show, but it didn't stop thousands of fans from flocking to the airfield for the air show's closing day. Two News reporter Madeline Ashley is live at Dayton International Airport with a breakdown of today's festivities. Adam, what a day it was. And check out those Thunderbirds behind me. They were a huge part of today's performance. Rain did delay a little bit for some planes, but it didn't stop anyone from getting out to enjoy all the Dayton Air Show had to offer. People I talked with say they're just happy to be back and enjoying life again after the lockdown. A weekend estimating over 70,000 people. Yes. Day two, bringing all the sights and sounds the Dayton Air Show has to offer. I like the airplanes. For instructor Jeff Giot, the show is all about talking to people about what he loves. It's where I got a lot of my inspiration as a child, um, wanting to be a pilot. Uh, I think I went to air shows, God, like every weekend as a kid. So um, it's, it's great to be able to talk to the community. And calls a year off from the Dayton Air Show a big hurt for the community. It's nice to be back um, talking with the community, um, getting out here. It's, it's really great for the performers because a lot of the civilian performers, this is their livelihood. It's how they make their money. At her first Dayton Air Show, Navy pilot Marina Linesy says meeting new people and making connections, what the air show is all about. So we're out here showing off our platform, getting to meet other pilots, and also getting to talk about all the great things that uh, our aircraft's capable of and uh, what the Navy can uh, do for everybody around. Just came out to cruise around, Thought the weather was a little questionable, but we're taking advantage of, uh, you know, the clearing and <laughs> going to look at some big planes, right? Parents Doug and Amber Hurak, glad their three kids finally get to socialize and experience new things after a year locked down. Just cool to let them experience, like, it, it's a totally different mode of transportation. You see them in the sky all the time, but to get up close and personal is pretty neat. Dayton Air Show workers say after this successful two day weekend event, they are going to start planning for next year's event and they hope to make it even bigger and better. Live in Dayton, Madeline Ashley, two news working for you.